Married with Children, a sitcom that hit the screens in 1987, delivered a refreshingly unfiltered take on family life. The Bundy family, led by shoe salesman Al and his outspoken wife Peg, offered a stark departure from the typical TV families of the time. Brace yourself for a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and even sad moments as you dive into this unconventional portrayal of domestic chaos. Ever wondered if you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Or are there lesser known facts and anecdotes that fascinate you? Stick around because we've got a slew of amusing, surprising, and even touching tidbits to share. The Bundy family may be dysfunctional, but their antics make for some unforgettable television moments. So what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more fun facts and feel free to share your own It's a Bundy Family Affair. In 2021, viewers can still find enjoyment in watching the television series Married with Children. The humor, despite occasionally being deemed childish, remains timeless, earning it oldies but goldies status. The well-crafted jokes delivered through the character Al Bundy may at times come across as sexist and rude to contemporary sensibilities but manage to retain comedic appeal. The series concluded a few years ago after a successful run and is hailed by some as the greatest television show ever. The central character, Al Bundy, is widely regarded as one of the most memorable and well-developed characters in television history. The show's cancellation marked the end of an era, leaving devoted fans with fond memories of its humor and characters. For some enthusiasts, its perfection is evidenced by extensive collections, including hundreds of episodes on tape and married with children comic books. Mention of phone patrol commercials with Ed O'Neill and various movies featuring the actor adds to the depth of appreciation. Specific episodes like the one featuring Bubba Smith titled All Night Security Dude are highlighted for their excellent writing, acting, and the inclusion of raunchy humor. Despite its exaggerated and at times dumb humor, Married with Children holds a unique place in the world of television comedy. It outshines many counterparts, leading even to the creation of a clone series unhappily ever after. The Bundy family's comedic prowess peaked in the early 90s with standout seasons in 1990 and 1991. Although the show experienced a decline in appeal, especially during the mid-90s, there was a surprising resurgence in 1995 to 1996, even after the departure of the beloved character Buck. In the later years, the series faced criticism for becoming old and repetitive, eventually leading to its cancellation. Nevertheless, it remains a show that made history and left an indelible mark on the world of television, deserving recognition for its significant contribution to the comedy genre. In conclusion, with its distinctive humor and memorable characters, Married with Children is a show worth watching for those who appreciate the comedic landscape of television. It navigates the complexities of humor, leaving an enduring legacy that resonates with fans even beyond its original airings. In the world of television, Married, with Children, which debuted in 1987, became a notable series with its unique elements. The character Al Bundy, played by Ed O'Neill, had a fictional favorite show called Psycho Dad, a western that added a distinctive touch to the storyline. References to Ed O'Neill's film Dutch are subtly woven into the series. In the episode England Show I, during a plane scene, the film is mentioned, and in another episode at the video store, a poster of Dutch covers Ed's eyes, adding a layer of humor to the show. Interestingly, the choice of Ed O'Neill for the role of Al Bundy was based on a perceptive observation during the audition. As O'Neill walked through the Bundy home's front door for the pilot, he exhaled deeply and slouched his shoulders, portraying a defeated demeanor. This simple act convinced the creators that O'Neill truly understood the essence of the show. These insights into Married with Children provide a glimpse into the show's nuances and the thoughtfulness behind casting decisions. It's a series that, beyond its humor, resonates with the audience through subtle details and clever storytelling. Katie Sagal, Ed O'Neill, and Christina Applegate initially doubted the show's success, but found the pilot script amusing and decided to join the project for fun. In the opening sequence, a shot of cars on the interstate interchange is from National Lampoon's Vacation, featuring the Griswold's green and brown Ford Crown Victoria station wagon. Bud's full name is Budrick Franklin Bundy. These insights offer a glimpse into the cast's initial skepticism, the use of external footage, and a character detail in the series. 
Each actor, despite reservations, found the humor appealing, contributing to the show's unexpected success. The incorporation of scenes from National Lampoon's Vacation adds a touch of familiarity to Married. With children's opening and Bud's full name adds a layer to his character. The television series Married, with children, which began in 1987, stands out for its unique elements and unexpected success. One noteworthy aspect is the initial skepticism from key cast members, including Katie Segal, Ed O'Neill, and Christina Applegate. Despite doubts, they found the pilot script amusing and decided to join the project for fun. The character Al Bundy, portrayed by Ed O'Neill, became iconic for his defeated demeanor, a trait that caught the creator's attention during auditions. This simple observation led to his selection for the role, showcasing the thoughtfulness behind casting decisions. Interestingly, network executives tested the pilot with a professional television viewer, emphasizing the importance of showcasing familial care despite the show's apparent viciousness. Co-creator Ron Leavitt's response to this request reflects a blunt perspective on television standards. The series incorporates subtle references and details, such as Al Bundy's fictional favorite show, Psycho Dad, and cleverly woven mentions of Ed O'Neill's film, Dutch. These nuances add layers of humor and depth to the show. Additionally, the opening sequence features footage from National Lampoon's vacation, adding a touch of familiarity to it. Character details contribute to the dynamics, as evident in Bud's full name, Budrick Franklin Bundy. The incorporation of scenes from National Lampoon's vacation and character details provides a deeper understanding of its evolution. The name Marcy D.R.C., a play on the executive producer of The Cosby Show, Marcy Carcy, reveals an interesting behind-the-scenes aspect. The working title, Not the Cosbys, highlights the distinct identity of the show. David Garrison's departure from the series due to a preference for live theater led to a storyline where his character, Steve, and Marcy grew apart. His sporadic returns in different professions showcase creative solutions to address his absence. In summary, its success can be attributed to its unconventional approach, talented cast, and the incorporation of subtle details. These insights shed light on the dynamics and evolution of the show, providing a deeper understanding of its unconventional charm. No Ma'am, a recurring theme in the series, humorously stands for National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. This acronym represents Al Bundy's resistance to traditional gender roles, adding a comedic touch to the show's dynamics. In a 2013 interview, Ed O'Neill shared insights into his relationship with Amanda Bears, highlighting that they drifted apart after the third season. O'Neill felt a shift in Bears's demeanor, describing her as more masculine and snarky. Their disagreements over trivial matters led to a disconnect with O'Neill and David Faustino excluded from Bears's Twin Ten wedding due to concerns about their reaction to a same-sex ceremony. A running gag in the series revolves around Al Bundy's overlooked existence as a shoe salesman. Despite his mundane occupation, people consistently misspell his name in various contexts, showcasing the perpetual disregard for his character. The amusing misspellings, including Al Bindy, Al Budney, and Al Bundy, contribute to the ongoing humor in the show. These aspects provide additional layers to the character dynamics, shedding light on the show's comedic elements and the off-screen dynamics among the cast members. Christina Applegate, known for her role as Kelly, showcased her intelligence and talent on the show. Co-stars praised her, emphasizing that she is nothing like her on-screen character. Ed O'Neill commended her caliber, noting her ability to effortlessly portray the dumb blonde with just one or two takes. Ed O'Neill and David Faustino drew inspiration from their real lives for their characters. O'Neill, a former college football player, influenced Al Bundy's boast about high school football. Faustino's aspiration to become a rapper translated into his character's alter ego, Grandmaster B, the iconic Mighty Dives driven by Al Bundy, is, in fact, a 1972 Plymouth Duster. This detail adds a layer of authenticity to the show's portrayal of Al's character and his pride in his car. Each element contributes to the unique charm and depth of the series, providing a richer understanding of its dynamics and evolution.